Hey everyone, in today's video, we're exploring the WMA indicator strategy. We'll go through the entire process, from explaining how the strategy works, to optimizing it using Frectrade, an open source trading bot, and finally running back tests to see how it performs. If you're looking for a complete beginner-friendly Frectrade tutorial, be sure to check out the link in the description below. Before we dive into the strategy, let's start by breaking down the key indicators we'll be using. 1. Weighted Moving Average The WMA is a type of moving average that gives more importance to recent prices and less weight to older data. Unlike the simple moving average, which treats all prices equally, the WMA reacts faster to price changes, making it a useful tool for identifying short-term trends and potential reversals. In this strategy, we use three WMAs, the 13, 21, and 34 period WMAs, to capture different levels of market momentum. Here's how each one plays a role. 13 WMA tracks short-term momentum and provides early signals for potential entry points. 21 WMA acts as a medium-term trend filter, helping confirm whether the short-term move aligns with the broader trend. 34 WMA represents the long-term trend direction, helping you avoid trades that go against the main market movement. When all three WMAS align, meaning the shorter averages are above the longer ones, it signals a strong uptrend. Conversely, when they stack in reverse order, it often indicates a downtrend. 2. Moving Average Convergence Divergence The MACD is a momentum indicator that helps identify trend shifts and potential buy or sell signals. It's made up of two main components. MACD line, the difference between the 12-period EMA and the 26-period EMA. Signal line, a 9-period EMA of the MACD line. When the MACD line crosses above the signal line, it indicates buying pressure and potential bullish momentum. On the other hand, when the MACD line crosses below the signal line, it signals selling pressure and possible bearish momentum. Now that we understand how each indicator works, let's walk through how we combine them to identify trade setups and generate entry and exit signals. To enter a long trade, we need all of the following conditions to be met. 1. 13. WMA crosses above the 34 WMA. This indicates that short-term momentum is starting to turn bullish. 2. 21. WMA crosses above the 34 WMA. Confirms the shift into a stronger, more established uptrend. 3. The 13 WMA is above the 21 and the 21 is above the 34. It forms a clear bullish structure. 4. Massey D line crosses above the signal line, confirms growing bullish momentum, and supports the long setup. Once all these conditions are met, we enter a long trade on the next candle. After entering, we set the stop loss just below the low of the signal candle to give the trade some breathing room and avoid being stopped out by normal market fluctuations. We subtract 2.5 times the average true range from the closing price of the signal candle. For our take profit, we use a 3 to 1 reward to risk ratio. This means that once the price hits our target level, we exit the trade and secure the profits. To enter a short trade, we need the opposite conditions signaling that the market is turning bearish. 1. 13 WMA crosses below the 34 WMA, indicates that short-term momentum is shifting to the downside. 2. 21 WMA crosses below the 34 WMA, confirms a developing downtrend. 3. 13 WMA is below the 21, and the 21 is below the 34. It forms a clear bearish structure. 4. Macy D line crosses below the signal line, confirms increasing bearish momentum, and supports the short setup. Once all these conditions are met, we enter a short trade on the next candle. After entering, we place our stop loss just above the high of the signal candle. To give the trade some room and avoid being stopped out by normal market fluctuations, we add 2.5 times the average true range to the closing price of the signal candle. For our take profit, we use a 3 to 1 reward to risk ratio, ensuring that potential profits outweigh the risk taken on each trade. Now that we understand the strategy, let's move on to optimization using Frectrade. We'll be testing on the one hour time frame, 
and splitting our historical data into two sets, in sample, eight months, used for tuning and optimizing the strategy. Out of sample, four months, used to test the strategy on unseen data and see how it performs in real market conditions. The key parameters we'll focus on optimizing include WMA, rolling window, defines how long a WMA crossover signal remains valid before it expires. This allows the strategy to handle cases where WMA and MACD signals don't occur at the same time. MACD rolling window determines how many candles the MACD signal remains valid for. This keeps the momentum confirmation consistent with the WMA setup. Risk ratio and ATR multiplier define the stop-loss distance and the reward-to-risk ratio, which control trade management and overall strategy risk. We'll use FrecTrade's HyperOpt feature to find the best combination of these parameters for maximum strategy performance. Once the optimization is complete, we'll run a full backtest to evaluate how the strategy performs using the optimal settings. All right, let's take a closer look at the backtesting results. We tested the strategy on ICP Perpetual Futures using a one-hour time frame over the past year with the optimized settings. Here's what we observed. The strategy achieved a total return of 293%. By comparison, the market itself saw a return of around minus 42% during the same period. The maximum drawdown was 18%, which shows that while the strategy did experience some retracements, it effectively managed risk and maintained overall profitability. Next, we'll review a visual summary of these results. The strategy was optimized with eight months of in-sample data and then tested on four months of out-of-sample data, ensuring it performs reliably on unseen market conditions and isn't just curve-fitted to historical data. If you'd like access to the full strategy file, along with the complete step-by-step -step Trade tutorial, it's available to supporters through the link in the description. There's also a pair-optimized version, which allows you to apply the strategy across multiple trading pairs, each with its own optimized parameters for improved performance. If you found this video useful, remember to subscribe, enable notifications, and share it with others who might benefit from it. Thanks for tuning in. See you in the next video.